and welcome to History Pod. On the 29th of December 1170, Thomas Becket, the Archbishop of Canterbury, was murdered in front of the altar of Canterbury Cathedral. Thomas Becket was appointed Chancellor by Henry II in 1155. In this job, he proved himself to be a faithful member of the King's court. When the existing Archbishop of Canterbury died, Henry seized the chance to dominate the church by appointing the trustworthy Becket to succeed him. Having a loyal friend in the most senior religious position in England made sense to Henry. However, as Archbishop of Canterbury, Becket's allegiance quickly switched to siding with the church. This frustrated Henry, who asked Becket to sign the Constitutions of Clarendon in 1164 to extend the king's authority over the clergy. Becket refused, and shortly after being summoned to the king to explain his actions, fled to France. Becket returned to England in 1170, but not before excommunicating two senior members of the clergy for supporting Henry. This act led to him being the target of an angry outburst by the king. It's highly unlikely, however, that Henry screamed out the legendary words, Who will rid me of this troublesome priest? Whatever Henry said was enough to encourage four knights to travel to Canterbury and kill the archbishop inside the cathedral. The event was recorded in a later history by the monk Edward Grimm. He claimed that the fatal blow split Becket's skull as he knelt in front of the altar. Becket was canonised by Pope Alexander III barely two years after the murder, and in 1174 the king himself walked barefoot to Becket's tomb in Canterbury in penance. Thank you.